I'm good, man. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. It seems like forever ago that I took pictures of your truck. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been, I've been doing a lot since. <laughs> it's been busy. Yeah, for sure, man. So, um, yeah. where I want to start, I guess we had a, a few short conversations while I was running around trying to take pictures about where yeah. where you sort of started off in this whole hot rod thing and then maybe build yeah. into why you picked this truck and where you got the truck from and, and that sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, the hot rods, I think I was born with it. I've, right always been, I've always been doing the car thing ever since I was a little kid, pretty much. It started with little models and stuff and it evolved into the big, the big full-size versions, I guess. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's a lot of people's dirt. Um, and then uh, I was, I, I've always been into trucks, so I was always looking for like an older, late, like 30s, late 20s um, truck. And this one came up in Shediac Bridge, which is only about probably 30 minutes from my house. Okay. And um, the, pr the price was right, but I had no money. So <laughs> I had to, uh, I had a, I had a, So you said that you did the body work. You and and a friend did the body work, or you did the body work, and yeah, yeah. Me and uh, me and the guy that works with me, he's a, he does a lot of paint jobs on the side. Right. Uh, his name's Chris Burke. He did uh, he did he helped me do all the straighten out all the body and do all the fill, and then helped me do all the paint and everything. I just probably did like ninety percent of it. I mostly just sat around looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> right on, drinking beer while he's working hard. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> right on. So um, the fr every. I remember the story is that everything except for the transmission is original. Yeah, well, it's original to the to the era, like to okay. that era, like you know, pre like pre, I guess pre hot rod. I guess they would have called them gow jobs or whatever back then. Um, but uh, yeah, the, everything like the wheels are up, the wheels are seventeen seventeen inch, so they're probably from like nineteen thirty four thirty five. Okay. And um, but other than that, everything everything everything. Except for the transmission and then the drive shaft is all Henry Ford, pretty much. It's okay. uh, I mean, besides some speed equipment and stuff like that, but like the is the so I keep thinking of it as the type of hot rod that a kid would build in the nineteen fifties or nineteen sixties. That's exactly what, that, that's exactly what it was. It was pretty. Much, I was building something that I thought that somebody coming back from World War Two would have built with no money. Right so on. that's kind of where that's kind of where I I've always liked I've always liked, I've always liked, I've always liked, I've got a whole bunch of old hot rod magazines and that's just you see a ton of that stuff in there it kind of went away for a while but I think right. it's coming back so yeah cool it's nice to see well and that's what attracted I mean I, the, I remember the first time I saw it at Speed Sport I was like wow that's really different like really simple yeah, but it yeah. still looks like a hot rod it looks yeah exactly yeah like the the, the original hot rod <laughs> it was yeah just taking the the flat four or or the the flathead V8 and trying to make it faster, yeah. right? Not, that's it, yeah. Not buying crate yeah. motors and, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> that's right, yeah, yeah, for sure. So the go-fast stuff is like, is it a Strongberg carb on it and all that sort of? Yeah, I've got a Strongberg 97 on it, and uh, I guess most of the engine really is not really too much, I guess, Henry Ford at this point. Uh, maybe the head, I've done air, the water pump's not, not Ford. Okay. Um, but it all kind of just, like, you could have bought those back in that era, so right. it's kind of, still kind of fits the bill a bit for me, but the only reason I even swapped out the transmission is because I just, driving the, the, the three-speed, you know, straight pack gears were really hard, double clutching and all that stuff, so right. it just uh, makes it way more drivable with the transmission. Cool. Um, so the bed, so did you build the bed, or was the yep. bed on it when, when it came? No, it had a it had a it had a homemade box on the back that okay. to me it looked pretty good like it was all right but once I took the fenders off and started trying to get a visual of it 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 just looked really really weird it just looked like a big can on the back big <laughs> can on the back right so I took it off and and actually the last five years I've been actually looking pretty hard for a, for a, a used box right and I found one last year and I kind of almost I gave up now I don't even want to change it I actually really like the, the look of the box on it now so 
Oh, for sure. I think yeah. I'm just going to keep it. Yeah, and again, it's unique, it's unique too. You know, it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen, so. No, like with the spring coming makes... up through the middle of it and stuff, that's what it made me think that you must have made made that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had to build a, I had to build a whole frame, a whole new frame around the bottom of it, big metal frame. Okay. And then I kind of fastened that onto the frame, and then I just built that, built the wood box around that. Okay. But, uh, some Princess Auto parts here and there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the other, the only other major modification was, I think you said you put a, and it's on the notes, you put a drop axle on the front just to give it a little bit of a raise. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, I did. I put a four inch drop axle. I got that somewhere on the street. I can't even remember where I got it from. Um, but um, yeah, I just, uh, I didn't like the high, the high look of it. I so it really, really put the, put it just a perfect rate to it. I, I think it just gives oh, yeah. it that real aggressive look. So yeah, yeah, it makes it look like a hot rod. And exactly. <laughs> so, is it, so I can't remember. Is the seat original, and you you just recovered it, or is it? A, no, the seat actually. I don't know what the seat's out of. The seat okay. was in there when I got it, but I, it looks like to me it looks like it's probably it was probably out of like a back seat out of like a Geo Tracker or something like that. You know, like okay. a Samurai Samurai or something. Because um, it had like a really funny looking eighty splash print on it, so I assume that that's where it came from. Right. Um, but I had a guy in town, a local guy in town. Um, a poster for me, and I, I, no one can tell the difference. It looks just like the original seat. Though. Yeah, like it would have. Yeah, and it's very, very comfortable too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I think yeah. I can't think of. I mean, uh, what's the significance of number thirty nine? Maybe I asked you that last time, but I can't remember. Uh, thirty nine, thirty nine is, uh, is is the uh, the numerical number for the motorcycle and car club that we're in. Okay, um, it's called the Shitty Tiger. So the S and the T added together equals thirty nine. Okay. Uh, Cool. Not too original, but no. It, well, it is though. Everybody has has yeah. a reason for a number, right? So, and it, you don't. Yeah. Usually... And there's, like, there's a little. There's a little B there too. That, that I, I could be wrong on it. I don't know. But I tried to do a bunch of research to try and find out what classification that that particular engine would have ran back in the forties, okay. fifties. Yeah, yeah. Like in like like say like Sacramento Tuning Association or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, as far as I know, the B class was was original modified. So. Okay. And it changed later to like something else, but the early modified, early numbers were B, so um, I think that's fairly correct. I mean, so hopefully somebody will tell me the right, the right, uh, yeah, the yeah, right yeah. lowdown on it someday, but I couldn't find any information on it at all. So oh, that's cool. Well, except for a little bit, but yeah. Cool. So um, I think that's all the questions I have. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you're like, oh, I wish you would have asked me this because this is... Um, not really, no. I um, not really. I guess everybody should probably know that I drive the thing almost every day. Right it's a very driven vehicle. Um, it's uh, I, when it's sun, when it's sunny out, I'm I'm in it. I was in it today, and and uh, it's today's it's, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, I got I put I put as much miles on it as I can. Right on. And you just park it yeah, in the winter. That's obviously. what it. 